Good morning! Mustard, what are you doing? I didn't want to pay for new wheels and tires, so I'm just going to flip the front wheel the other way so it gives it a little bit of stance. Yeah, that's very uh, valid. That'll be nice and good on there. That looks mean. <laughs> that looks sweet. You it, get the stance without having to put the wide tires on. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> I think it looks awesome. <laughs> service truck, we're mounted up, I'm gonna put the wheel back on, see how they look. First side done, wheel back on, got the nice OEM gator back forward mud flaps on there. Hopefully that's gonna be okay, we got it's pretty stout, put a self tapper there. We'll find out. If they rip off in a year, then we know they are junk, I guess, so. All done, mount it up. Ready to put the wheel back on. Woo! Any words of encouragement today, Chief? Just a nice cold day here on the 25th. 26th? 26th of January, it's cold. Did you look at that. So we got kind of bored today and figured we would uh, see if our box scraper would work. Everything fits good. We got it all mounted up. Hydraulics working, cylinder Precision engineering, look at that, perfect. So we're gonna go outside and pull it around a little bit, maybe scrape up a little something and see if everything works all right. We'll take it all apart again and get it back into telescraper mode so we can push snow when we get the next snowfall. And now we're just gonna take the skids off because when it's in box scraper mode, you can't have the skids on there. for now. Just like it was intended for multi-purpose. Blaze don't like that dog. Obviously the ground is way froze for it to actually work as a box scraper like we would normally in the spring and the summer but we didn't we weren't just bored and didn't do that just just because we were planning on doing it until springtime but you'll see why we did that maybe a couple weeks as the honey badger says it's the bts big time scraper dual purpose Snow pusher, box scraper, that's what we like to see. That's what we do here at Man Family Farms. We innovate, yeah. Innovate, engineer, entertain. That's what it's all about. Take it back apart, pull it back from box scraper to teleskid.
box scraper mode is gone and out, putting back into storage. We didn't time it specifically, but from my camera, uh, the time that it ran on there on the time lapse, I could tell it literally was only about 10 to 15 minutes to get everything off. Back to the bare telescraper. We do stuff like this because we paid like 17 1800 bucks for the box scraper. We had most of the steel on hand that we used to reconfigure it. Had all the tools already, had all the supplies. All it took was our time. It's not justified to go spend $4,000 on a nice box scraper when uh, we got one right here and we make it just with our sweat equity. I think that's worth it way more than spending the money because then we can take that money and do things like this. Put gas powered pumps on our fuel tanks so we can fuel faster and buy hopefully some cabinets and tools for our shop because it seems like we always need something. Box scraper, gonna go back to the barn till we need it again. So handy. What have we been doing all these years without a skid loader? I don't know. It's almost a necessity now. Ooh, new farm manager. He's for hire. Hey, you're not doing very good on your interview. You're walking away. Silly dog. What's going on? Or what do you think of this going on? Oh, we're looking for mice. Looking for mice. Looking for mice. So we got the fuel knot cap on the Manor Creek. We're doing a modification to it. The seal was bad. We're getting water in the tank. You can actually see there's water in there. It's too dark now, but we got a plastic yeah. bushing on this, and now we're putting a foam thing. We're gonna see how nice of a seal we can create on the Manor Creek. That is pretty tight. Really bad. Yeah, he sent down in here. See how it does. Just finished up putting that nice little seal on the Mander Creek. We have to bring the 7800 over from Bucky's because the water pump went out when he was moving snow. So Bucky's ahead of us and the 7800 just limping it over to the shop so we can replace the water pump. This is the second stop. Just have to shut the tractor off, let it cool down. Hey, Bucky. Doing? Hey, isn't this effective? You can see how close we are. There's area 21. So close, yet yeah, so far. We got her here. We got to get the loader off to make it so it's easier to work on. We'll take these loaders off. It should be fairly simple. So we'll see how this goes. This will be the first time we've taken it off. Got it. That wasn't too bad. Good job. On the ear. Man, 7800 is a little piglet of a tractor. You used to feel it driving it. It's like a squatty little pig. <laughs> that thing is a beast. <laughs> Gotta make some room in the shop. Look at that. All right, let's see if this works. Full of fuel, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's empty. It's empty. This works. Works good. I <laughs> thought we just used the skid loader. Too many late shops at the night. Make for broken boy. The hay hog. You like that? The telehog. Feels weird without the loader on there. Hey hog. Good morning, everybody. We are back at the farm, and this morning we got a little bit of a grand equipment shuffle going on in the shop. We kind of tucked everything in there pretty awkwardly last night, as you saw. We're gonna get everything straightened up because we got to be able to move some things in and out. Seven eight hundred probably is going to be tucked in there for 
a while, could be. We wanna make sure that's not in the way, so we're gonna tuck that back in the corner. This is not our truck. This is a good friend of ours. He just brought it up to wash it. He's trying to sell it. Doesn't look like we did much, but. Still seems like we got the same amount of room. Well, funny? as you all can tell, we need a bigger shop. Easy, easy. Get started on our slide out toolbox. Devin got started on this yesterday. Gotta get some different bolts for that. Another thing we're also still working on is the fuel pump for the Manda Creek. We're actually going on a excursion today. We gotta make a bunch of stops down in Des Moines. And the most exciting thing, we got something really awesome We've been looking for it for a long time. We're hoping that it's in good as shape as we think. They said it was in good shape, so we'll see that when we get there. First stop complete up here to Seneca Tank in Des Moines. We got some hose fittings, a little whip hose for our Manda Creek, and a 50 foot long, inch and a half hose for fueling the combines and tractors. We're gonna have it's gonna be better than a Thunder Creek. Yeah. Easy now. Ooh. Throwing... Ooh. Fighting words. Oh no, what are they gonna do? We'll be throwing them under. Off to the next venture. Second stop, Iowa muffler and brake. We got an adapter for the exhaust pipe that we're gonna put on the service truck. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's Tools. What an awesome place. If you guys need some stuff, come to Bob's Tools. It's called Campbell Supply Company now. We got some short sockets for the service truck that we needed. We got a battery jump pack that we wanted to get for Ever. a long time. And we got one new hose reel for the shop. The one on our west wall is kinda getting tired. So, gonna start heading back home. We gotta stop at one more place on the way. And this is the one I was talking about earlier. This is gonna be awesome. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's what we think. Oh, here we are. Look at this place. Now we are talking. Holy moly. Oh, the place never ends. Holy cow. Dude, this place is insane. I don't think they do. Oh my god. Look at all those hoods over there. Hey, 4450, Mike. Have a new lid. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Get some paint on there and actually wax it up. Might be okay. Easy. Working on getting the water pump off here. 478 Hundo. I don't like being watched worked. Work, worked when I watch. Watch when I work. Sorry, Bucky. We gonna get any surprises? All the water's already on the floor. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's out. There you go. You think the guy that works at the store and orders parts would order the right parts, but it's okay. The guy you guys parked it out of the way. Yes, wrong part. That's all right. We're, we're going to take it apart right in the shop. I was like, I oh, will get her done tomorrow night. And he never, never goes according to plan. You tell these guys about the shop. Uh, Cleanup that's coming up. We're building a new shop, 100 by 100. Yeah, 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 that's right. New shop, brand new shop. Yeah. No, not. Only in our, only in our dreams. Basically, this wall is cluttery, messy, unorganized. We got some husky cabinets ordered so we can clean up some of this area. I think we're gonna get a roll cart, put a little more tools in. Work in progress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the disaster zone. We got our water pump for the 78 hundo. I got the wrong one. So I made, one? made a little road trip this morning to Madrid, Madrid, Spain. 
What are you guys working on today? Working on the Manda Creek, working on the service truck. Our slide out toolbox. This is the bottom piece. And we're trying to mock up the side pieces with our wheels. These wheels are a little unique. We don't have to double nut or nylock lock them. Otherwise, you tighten them all the nice. way. What do you think, boys? They nice. don't spin. Finally got our thermostat, gaskets, housing prepped. Got the new thermostats in, put the cover on, put the hose on, fill with some coolant, and let her buck. Thermostat housing on, hose, water pump fittings, lines are all tight. Let's get some water in this and let her bark. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we've been working on this toolbox. It's been pretty tedious. Finally got somewhere. And uh, I think we did really good. This is actually the first try we did, tacking it up. The handle. I'm gonna grab a chain. Sweet. So what we did, we've got two rollers really close in the back. So it has a teeter effect so it doesn't flop out on itself. And then we got one roller on the outside in the front, obviously to seat it back in when it's all the way inside. 42 inches long. We're sitting probably five deep and 28 wide. That's a great place for receivers, chains, Little miscellaneous items that take up space. So these are just little wheel casters. I don't know what they're off of, but pretty robust. I think they'll work. It's all you really got to do is just lift up slightly. Let's guide it right back in. For what it is, I think it'll be pretty sweet. Mustard and honey badger. Been working on the Mander Creek. We got pipes running out of the bottom. Two inch monster. Look at that, we got a valve in case we ever need to shut it off. Come into our massive Honda trash pump into the massive filter housing into the massive inch and a half, 50 foot long hose reel. All we have left to do on this, mount this, mount this motor down to the frame and then take this stuff back off, put the goop on it tighten up all the fittings and then goop these fittings up and then we need to have a inch and a half hose made to connect this elbow to this elbow then put the hose on there's oil on this 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 thing is going to be an absolute unit you thought that was awesome this is going to be epic <laughs> We got our front piece on, it goes off to the side, covers the holes where the wheels are, acts as a front stop. See that? And then we gotta make our inside stops yet, but yeah, pretty legit. We got our back on, we made a little lip here, just for a little more rigidity. I'm gonna put one in the back, getting after it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad actually. Told you guys, come on, have some confidence. It's so quiet. Devin's about got this thing mounted. We're basically at the same part we were a little while ago. Just need to get this in, get everything else plumbed together. We're gonna add a couple more wheels, we think, and get it painted, grind it down, make it look good, finish welding. Then we got this about wrapped up. It's been a pretty, pretty solid day. 7800's all ready to go. It's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you, See you in, in fun. See you in the funny. See you in the fun.
See you in the funnies. 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 See you in the funnies.